Hey guys, it's Redemption Nine and welcome back to I Try. It's Halloween today, so it's supposed to be a super scary day. And what better way to celebrate Halloween by playing a scary game titled Outlast? Now we have played the demo for the second one, which was utterly terrifying. So let's see if the first one is as bad as the second one. Although the second one is a sequel to this one, so I don't know. This one's probably a bit tame compared to the next one. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, continue and play. Um, let's just see. Yeah, I like it bright. I like it super bright. Um, options. Let's turn music down. Can I not turn? I want subtitles then. Uh, okay, we're not going to be able to change the music. Can I change the gamma? No. Okay, uh, new game. Normal, please. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. Oh, I will. If you're offering uh, graphic sexual content, I will certainly enjoy that. In it. You are Miles Upshaw, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of how on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories as no other journalist would dare to investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can, record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide or die. So, that sounds amazing. I can't fight, I just have to run or hide or die. Uh, I don't know. Right, let's go. Oh, I'm driving a car. I wish I could actually drive it though. I impress. Uh, my radio's on FM 107.9, and it's on about something. Oh, look, building. There seems to be thunder around. Um, my fuel is almost empty. My battery is full. Oil temperature is uh, pretty hot, but manageable. I think I'm doing at least 4,000 revs per second and I don't know what speed I'm doing. Oh, ma massive asylum. What's that other gauge? Water pressure. Well, this place looks um, a nice place to visit. High security. Are you going to open the things for me? Oh. Oh, what's this? Confidential. Um, you don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. Two weeks software. Merkov. Uh, sorts of NDAs. Fuck those guys. Wow. Uh, terrible things. Don't believe it. Dream therapy. Being hurt. Merkov is making money. It needs to be exposed. Right, okay. So that's the backstory. We got sent here by someone who used to work at Murkoff or whatever that place is called, and is now wanting to expose them. Easier said than done. Miles Archer, independent. I have night vision on my camera. Nice. Am I not taking my press badge? You might need that. They might ask some questions. Well, that place looks. Uh, Deadly. All right. So um, automatic gates. Here they're a nice thing these days. Who's controlling them though? Is that my shadow? Oh my god. I look a bit like Slenderman. God. So there's a phone, a uh, keyboard, some pens and paper, a coffee, and a monitor which says password. I obviously don't know the password. I can lean. Uh, pictures of a witch. Papers that are upside down on the chalkboard. Well, a corkboard or whatever you call it. It looks very 2D. Bin looks 3D. 
I'm like, I like how this is a horror game, and I'm just looking at the details, like, and we got it's not even 3D. What is this? The gate is locked. Press. Okay. To open it, raise your camcorder. Press R B. Oh, I have an event. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Man, my son shut down amid scandal and government. 1971, reopened by Murkoff in 2009 and the guys, charitable organisation. So we've got no cell phone reception. Uh, uh, okay. Interesting. How do I get my um, camera down? I want to get the camera down, please. Did I just put a new battery in? I think I did. Oh, there we go. I forgot the button to put it down already. And I wasted the battery at the same time. I'm doing amazing already. I'm down the battery and forgetting the controls. To run, hold LB. Okay. What's this? Don't know. Is there any batteries outside? locked. I realise it seems locked. There's cars here, but the gate is locked. How'd they get in? Looks like they came in in a hurry because there's skid marks. Supplies. Can I not raid the truck so the door's not open or anything? No. This looks ominous. Mount Massive Asylum. Hello? Can I uh, speak to uh, the main guy in charge, please? Whoever that is. Mercs. Interesting. Light. Oh, look, the gate is broken. How convenient. And look, an open window. How convenient. I can see my feet. Hello? Damn it. It's locked. Whatever would I do? Looks like I'll have to go to my car and go home. Right. It's broken window. Fountain. I can jump. Oh my god. So, like, what is going on? Can they send someone else to do this? Why do I have to be the one to investigate it? Jump up, press A, climb up. Yep. Oh, I can see in that window. Ominous music. Broken glass. Oh, hello. What's night vision? That night vision is amazing. It's so dark in this room. Do you have any batteries, please? No. Right, this place is just creepy. What are they? Bullet holes? What's that? Blood on the floor. Perfect. Right, I'm just going to close this. Slam. Okay now. Oh, you look creepy as fuck. What time is it? It's uh, twenty-five past nine at night. Anything out there? Stuff. There's stuff out there. Hang on. These windows are reinforced and yet the other one's broken. 
I'm pretty sure you can't break a reinforced window that easy. Did that just turn on by itself? Morin. Press a hold to open door, yay. What is that? Oh, it's just a reflection. Oh, okay. A215. Hello? I'm looking for an admin person or someone in charge. Oh, battery. Anything else? No. More trees outside as well. There seems to be a bit of blood on the floor and footprints. Hello? Oh, file. Uh, Billy. 19. Patient. Self-directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity. What's that? Morphogenic engine. Stage 4 hormone schedule. MRI, laughter. Says so his mother's also against Merkel Asylum. That represents breaching security. Despite Bill's claims that he discovered the truth in the Blood Dreams, Dr. Traeger. The only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Right. So there's a patient named Billy. That phone is making noise. Can I not call the police or something? We've seen bullet holes. Oh shit, I thought that was something else then. We've seen bullet holes and blood everywhere. And we're not concerned about this. I mean, look at this place as well. It's falling to bits. Surely it's not safe. Just going to ignore that someone just closed that door. And locks it. Surely glass door's not the way. What is that? Oh, there's blood in there. Oh my god. Someone come in. Wash your hands. Oh, what is that? I don't know. Looks like someone jumped out of- Oh, that's my footprints. God, this game is creepy. What's this way? Ah, oh, that. Ugh. It's rank. Oh shit. Was he the one who locked the door then? Hello? Oh god. I didn't want to jump down. It's down there. There's people down there. Library. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh my god. What is this? What the fuck is this? Move. This library is creepy. Oh fuck. They're, they're missing their heads. Oh my god. <coughs> they killed us. They got out. The variants. You can't fight them. You have to hide. Can unlock the main doors from security control. Thank you. What does that say? Uh, what, where was that? Whistleblower? No. Don't know. Don't worry. Don't worry, mate. I will. Where's that?
God, this game, man. I don't want to go in there. I just saw some guy go in there. Oh, what is this? Little fake. Oh, fuck. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Who are you? Ow. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure killing me would be the best thing right now. Oh, who the fuck are you? And who are you then? Likewise, who are you? Please don't kill me. I. That's my I camera. See. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Right. Proclaim the gospel. Oh, fuck. This place. Any different doors? That's the front door. Hang on. If if there's a window broken, can I just smash through these? God. I'm just I'm just mucking up the carpet. Oh god. Oh, that is horrible. Is this the security terminal? There's a file there. What does it say? Uh. Right, and uh, we're satisfied. Right. Mate, you're not supposed to be asleep on the job. Where's this button? Surely they have the ability to open it here. Oh, God. Oh, who's that? Is he alive? He is, he's twitching. It's game, man. So that's what it looked like ages ago. And uh, it's the same picture. Right, where do we need to go? What's my objective? Escape the asylum. Access security control to unlock the main doors. I don't know where that is. Our security room's that way. Looks ominous though. Electric room, library, recreation hall, cafeteria, chapel. We're going to the chapel and we're gonna get married though I suppose uh, a funeral would be better right now oh god it's so dark oh battery but it looks like someone's clogged the toilet need to get a plumber in I bet this place used to look really nice when it was stable Oh, there's a body in here. Hello? He's got walkie-talkie. Can I not use that? What's Crouch? B. Oh, he's got a walkie-talkie there. It's very 2D, but you know. Desk. Why does it look very flat outside? Because it is flat. The path was never in front of the door. Well, the path was in front of the door. It's never in front of the windows, I should say. Time is actually moving. Okay. That's cool, I guess. Right, what's in here? Dead person. Seems like every room has a dead person or two. It's not good. Three dead people here. Four. Weird screensaver. Do you have any batteries? Oh, I see a file. 
What does it say? Um, Project Wall Rider. Walker. 32. Morphogenic engine. 2000 ppm. Unsafe. Walker was interviewed in restraints. Self inflicted mutilations. Oh my god. Uh, ripped skin from his forehead. Ah, oh, it's a place, man. No wonder it's a mental asylum. Can I seriously not use a phone and call the police? I mean, how long would it take for him to get here? Oh, fuck, I'm here. I didn't really want to come here. Ah, oh, oh, this is. Is this a security place? Can I open this? No. I want to go on the other side. I don't want to go down there. I mean, there's a man there. He. Oh, I thought that was a person up there. Another cork board. Man, this place is. Um, it's definitely Halloweeny. I oh, know security rooms that way. So what's this way? Nothing. I suppose we could go past him, but is it safe? I suppose there's only one way to find out, really. Yeah, I'm dirtying up your carpet. You're gonna have to get a cleaner in as well. Right, if you if you shit me up. Now, I'm just going to fucking... I, I don't know, I can't hear you. Can I push you away? Are you even going to attack me? Is there anything even down there? What's that? A115. Is it worth it? I don't know. Oh, he's... He's alright. Well, obviously he's not alright, but... Oh my god. I'm trapped. I'm trapped between a rock and a hard place. If I go past him, he'll probably attack me. And if I go in there, I'll probably stir them up. How many are there? Two. Fuck it. Hey, guys. Oh, there's three of them. What are you watching? No, you're not. You got not got a name of the show, it looks um, interesting oh my god what the fuck are you uh, a crowd of broken men watching a dead channel, they look like patients they survive whatever happened here but no one's home he looks pretty home he's got shackles on is that the guy with the open forehead? He's got no hands. Oh. What's that guy? Oh, look at his mutilations. Oh my god. It's through here. Oh my god. I'm not sure I really want to go any further. You though. Look at your face. Look at your hands as well. You could just slide them things off. You guys are so mental. Oh, this guy. Oh, he's gonna jump at me, isn't he? No. Oh, cool. I like that guy. Just sits around all day doing nothing. Uh, if I was doing anything in this place, I'd rather be doing that. Not walking around and getting pushed out of windows and shit. That shit's dangerous. Is it? Surely this guy must be clever enough to work out a way just to unlock that door. I don't know though. 
You could probably work out a way to get the bars off the windows, surely. And it can't be that difficult to get off. I don't know. I don't know. That is just gross. This game is just gross. I know it said like there's a warning saying it was gross, but come on, I didn't expect it to be this gross. What's this? Looks like a lift. <laughs> Going down? I think you might be. Can I interact again? Oh, Chief. Elevator operator. Drop the corpse in the elevator shaft. At least I got 25G for that. Yay! Security room. Yeah. Yeah. Um, nutters. There's nutters all around me. Close that door, please. Nope. Ah, what's behind door number one? A bucket. Two buckets. I think that's very nice. Can I stay in there all game? What's behind door number three? Someone had a massive shit. What's behind the middle one? A witness. I think he had a bit of explosive diarrhea. I think he killed him. Right. There's bullet holes again in the wall. Jermaine Dallaire, Deputy Director. Don't know. Oliver Baransk. Clyde Perry. That's the most normal name there, Clyde Perry. My guy is shitting himself right now. This is... Oh, you know what? I'm just going to stay in here. Yeah, I'm just going to stay in here. This is probably the best cubicle in the world right now. Well, in this world. Oh, fuck, I didn't want to do that. I'm wasting batteries. Can I get on here? Can I, can I no clip? No? Oh, that is disgusting. Oh. What does that say? I already beat. I'm already beat to hell. Picking broken glass out of my scalp. A couple of cracked ribs. Nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like someone tried to fuck start his head with a cheese grater. He throws me through a wall, knocks me unconscious. I wake up and some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kiddie fiddler. Wow. In a homemade priest outfit, calls me his apostle. Not a job I asked for. There are words scrolled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them and for my benefit. How's it for your benefit? And why did I suddenly just get that message? I don't know. But, if we take the camera down, there we go. I think here is the perfect place to end it. I'm standing on a mop bucket. Overlooking a cubicle where a man had explosive diarrhea and shat himself to death, quite literally. And we are surrounded by nutters in an asylum. What better place to end the episode? I'd say there is no better place. Because right now, we're in the worst possible place. Please help, it's Halloween. And I'm going to die in this place. It'd be easier just to hang myself now with the light. But alas, I can't. I can't even escape. Um, but yeah, that is it for this episode of I Try Guys. If you want to see me try something new, then head over to Twitter, tweet at CRedemption9, use the hashtag try this, and then leave the name of the game, and I'll be sure to check it out. But for now, that's it for this episode of I Try Guys. I think it was a really, really scary one. Not as scary as Outlast 2, but still super scary for Halloween. Um, but yeah, that's it for this episode of I Try Guys, and I'll see you next time where I try something new. Bye.